So I'd now like to move to a new technology that we're excited about as well. And that's computer architecture, right? We're all here because of computer architecture in one way or another. In today's computer architecture, you have fast, low capacity memory that is right next to the CPU. And then you have slow, high capacity storage that's further away. And computers have been architected this way for years, since really the beginning of computing. But as computing has become faster and faster, we're hitting a bottleneck with the current architecture. So at Intel, we didn't want to be slowed down by these bottlenecks. So we're about to throw all of that out the window. Together, Intel and Micron have created the biggest breakthrough in memory and storage in over 25 years. It's called 3D cross-point technology. And to tell you more about this and to give us some real interesting insights into it, I'd like to welcome on stage Rob Crook, the Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Non-Volatile Memory Solutions Group. Good morning, Rob. How you doing, Brian? Great. Looks like you're having some fun out here. It has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Right? So, okay, Rob, you recently announced 3D Crosspoint. I think we're all trying to see what is it? Can you explain a little bit how it works? And then, and then also, is it all just foils right now? Sure. Um, 3D Crosspoint technology is a new class of memory technology, uh, and it takes advantage of an innovative 3D Crosspoint architecture. Uh, it's a cross-point architecture that we can stack in three dimensions, hence 3D cross-point. And uh, the essential part is this cross-point architecture that enables us to scale to high, uh, high density. Uh, but what we do is we connect uh, the, between the wires. So we have a, think of it as like it's like a window screen, a, a cross-point architecture, where between where the wires cross, we put sub-microscopic pillars of material. And that material includes a switch, which allows us to connect, uh, to access individual bits of memory or words of memory, uh, to treat it like memory, uh, but also a memory storage element that allows us to, to use it like storage at the same time. And unlike traditional uh, DRAM memory that stores its information in electrons stored on a capacitor, or NAND memory that stores its information in electrons trapped on a floating gate, uh, this uses a bulk material property change of the material itself to store whether it's a zero or one. Uh, and that enables us to scale to small dimensions. And that enables, of course, something that is a new class of memory, a thousand times faster than NAND, so unlike NAND, with super high endurance, yet still 10 times uh, the density of DRAM, a new class of memory. Okay, so you've done a good job of explaining the technology. I get it, I understand it now. Um, but you know, here I, I don't want to just do foils and, and talk about what could be. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what the products are? What are they going to be announced? When are they coming out? Uh, and maybe give us a little insight. Okay, cool. Uh, today uh, we're announcing a new brand for our storage products. It's called Intel Optane Technology. And Intel Optane Technology combines this innovative, revolutionary 3D crosspoint media itself together with uh, optimized controllers that allow us to access that information, and then optimize interfaces to the platform, hardware, uh, and then software IP to make it a complete product. Uh, and we'll be delivering Intel Optane-based SSDs to the market in 2016 across a broad variety of platforms, from the data center down to low-power Ultrabooks. Uh, but also, we'll be delivering this 3D cross-point memory technology in the form of DIMMs, for system memory for our next generation Xeon platforms that give us even shorter latency access to this memory and use it like traditional system memory. Okay, so I get it, SSDs and DIMMs. I still want to see it work. So, so Rob, can you show me one? I think I can today, Brian. Uh, and today uh, we're gonna show you the world's first public demonstration of an Intel Optane-based SSD. And I have that uh, over here. I'm gonna get that started. Uh, and what you're seeing here uh, is a, a benchmark comparing an early prototype of our Intel Optane-based SSD on the right 
compared to an SS, a traditional NAND-based SSD on the left, and not just any NAND S SSD. This is our highest performance uh, NAND-based SSD with PCIe and super high endurance, super high performance. So one of the fastest SSDs in the world today. One of the fastest SSDs in the world. And what you're seeing is uh, the performance across a broad variety of real-world type workloads simulated by uh, Iometer. And uh, what you see is different Q depths, which uh, and short queue depths that are more realistic of transaction-based workloads that we see uh, in the market today. So things like financial services applications where they, have, they want quick uh, transactions and they want them to be very predictable. And what you saw as we were cycling through the different workloads there was the performance advantage over the fastest NAND-based SSD in the world today is somewhere between five and seven times uh, the performance with our early prototype SSD. So, I mean, this is amazing. Five to seven X is, when you talk about performance, is truly revolutionary. It is exciting, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Rob, anything else you want to talk about on this or? Uh... Yeah, I would say, um, that what we're really excited about is the application benefits of the, this, of course. So folks that are out there, anything that requires bigger memory, anything that requires wicked fast storage uh, with non-volatility will benefit from this. So things like uh, enhanced rich media, immersive gaming, uh, mass scale virtualization in the cloud, in-memory databases, high performance computing, uh, and we expect to see breakthroughs in personalized medicine, for healthcare. We expect to see breakthroughs in big data analytics that enable us to run companies uh, more efficiently, as well as cities and, and maybe countries as well. So, so thanks a lot, Rob. I know you and your team have worked tirelessly. For those in the audience who don't know it, these kinds of inventions don't come overnight. There's been 10 years of research and development to get to this point and many years of product development. So I, I'm really happy and excited for what you guys are about We're to do. We're very excited, Brian.